Hey there Arconiacs, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a bit, but before we get to the final trailer for season 4 of Only Murders in the Building, I wanted to deep dive into everything we know before the upcoming season of the show. We'll discuss every news article, interview, behind the scenes photo, and video of note that I could find, and possibly some plot twists that I might have uncovered. But before we get any further, beware, there will 100% be some spoilers ahead. I don't believe anything pertinent to the killer's identity or who will die this season will be revealed. But there are some other aspects of the show that have not been revealed that I will be talking about. So if you want to go into season 4 completely blind, go ahead leave now. But if you are okay with some spoilers, stick around. First and foremost, I need to share with you the logline for Season 4, which I think will give us some insight to what we should expect. I've seen a couple different versions of the synopsis, but not this one, which gives some very particular information, and this was reported by TV Line. Questioning whether Sazer Charles was the intended victim, our trio's investigation leads them all the way to Los Angeles where a Hollywood studio is readying a film about the Only Murders podcast. As our amateur sleuths race back to New York, they embark on an even more epic journey, traversing the building's courtyard to delve into the twisted lives of the Arconia's West Tower residents. This tells us that the trio, like us, is unsure who the intended victim was. The season will start in New York, but likely head to L.A. for a part of Episodes 1 and 2. And then the trio will return to New York with their counterparts from the film adaptation with them. The very interesting part to me was where the logline states, traversing the building's courtyard to delve into the twisted lives of the Arconia's West Tower residents suggesting that the trio have kind of been living in their own bubble and is unaware of the activities, some of which are twisted, of the residents that live in the other wing of the Arconia. I think these twisted lives will come to light after the police clear that wing while looking for Saz's killer, basically early in episode number one. The police will come through the building, trying to find out if the killer is still there, and while they're clearing the building, they will be opening up some of these rooms and seeing some probably strange, awkward, weird, or twisted things. And some of these people, obviously because of these things, will become suspects. There has been a plethora of new cast members in mid-May, Melissa McCarthy, Molly Shannon, Eva Longoria, Eugene Levy, Kamal Nanjiani, Zach Galifianakis, and Richard Kind were all confirmed to join the cast for season 4. Molly Shannon will play a Hollywood executive making the Only Murders movie. I was correct in guessing that Eva, Eugene, and Zach would be playing the trio, though I believe before I knew it that this information was guessed at other places, so it's nothing super cool. I hope I am right that Kamal Nanjiani will be playing Arnav and Melissa playing Bunny. I haven't seen this set anywhere, nor has that been confirmed. In my last video, I believe that Richard Kind with the eye patch here could be portraying an over the top evil version of Teddy Demas, and that is still possible, but a little later I will give you an idea of someone else he may be playing. Now, I mentioned this in the trailer breakdown. But there are also photos from behind the set of this pig, and it threw me off. Why is there a pig on this set? I couldn't figure it out. And then it hit me that there is a very good possibility that this pig is a fictional version of Winnie or possibly even Evelyn. But my money is on Winnie. This movie is a dramatization and expanding on the story of Only Murder, so they can take some liberties with the cast and, of course, their pets. Additional actors joining the cast includes Jin Ha, who will likely be playing Tim Kono, although Jin is South Asian and Tim 
and Tim has Japanese ancestry, TV and film often conflate Asian backgrounds. Jin is listed to appear in two episodes. I think it would be interesting for this character to talk to Mabel about Tim trying to get some feelers and Mabel just not being about that at all. Actress Katherine Cohen is said to be in two episodes, possibly playing Zoe Cassidy, though she's more than likely playing a new character. Actor Desmond Borges has been cast in five episodes, stage actress Daphne Rubin Vega in two episodes, Sienna Werber in five episodes, and actress Lillian Ribello in five episodes. This appears to be her first major acting job. Now, I scoured all of these people's, these newer actors' social media for hints about their roles, but I came up empty. For possible casts, of course, we have Scott Bakula. In January, Scott Bakula, who was mentioned in episode one of season one and twice again in season three, stated on Good Morning America that he has not been approached by anyone from the show and does not know why he was mentioned. John Hoffman, an executive producer and co-creator of Only Murders, did work as an executive producer on a show Scott appeared in called Looking. That was on HBO, so there is some overlap. Scott vehemently denied being a part of the show at that point, but that was before season four even started filming, so he could have been asked to join later. Eva Longoria, in an interview, stated that she will be in five episodes, two in LA and the rest in New York. So I imagine, sort of like I stated earlier, that part of episode one and all of episode two will likely be in LA and then the trio heads back to New York. I need to reiterate that Eva stated that she will be in five episodes, but IMDb lists her in only three. IMDb can often be wrong and only updates after the characters appear in the episodes, so it could go either way. But we do know but we do know that Eva will at least be in one New York based episode and that is because of her social media. Eva posted on her TikTok a video of herself with Steve Martin and Selena Gomez on the set in front of the murder board in Charles' apartment. I spent a long time looking at the murder board of course, wondering if there was anything that I could glean from it, but there was nothing. I'm expecting the board to show up in the next trailer. So once that happens, I'll be looking at it, but I think that'll be out in a couple weeks. It's usually about a month before the season starts as when we get the final trailer and we're about a month and a half out. Eva also posted, then deleted an actual page of the script. I thought that was pretty wild of her to do. And uh, maybe this could have been some type of ploy but she did indeed uh, delete this. So let me tell you what this page in the script said and what it could mean for the plot of season four. In this scene, the trio is talking to Zach Galifianakis and Eugene Levy, and they are in front of the murder board. It looks like the script says 403 in the top corner, so I am guessing this is for season four, episode three. In it, they talk about episode 403 of the television series Brazos, which would be a very meta thing to do, talking about an episode of a show that matches the actual episode number they are on. We also learned that Detective Williams stated that Saz was killed with a .300 Winchester Magnum round. This round is still popular amongst hunters. Charles mentions that he learned this from Brazos and Eugene states that, of course, it was in the episode 403 titled A Lady in Her Luger. This tells me that Eugene is at the very least very familiar with Brazos the show to the point where he knows episode numbers and titles when certain things happen and he may have some type of past with Charles. From the way everyone is talking, I believe the actors, as in Zach and Eugene, 
have been pulled into the investigation and even onto the podcast. Maybe they do this to become their characters or to truly help the active investigation. It seems as if Zack is likely holding a microphone or recording equipment and taking direction from Oliver, but he does not take Oliver seriously and he thinks he's really a hack. Oliver talks about a hunter now being hunted into the microphone as some type of spicy uh, words that you can hear on the podcast. This is in reference to the episode of Brazos conflating it to the real life within the show. This could align with my idea of the killer being ex-military. The .300 round is popular with hunters, which they state in the show, but it is a very real round and it's very popular with police and military. I shot this round, and if I could find a uh, picture of myself with the sniper rifle, um, I will pop that in here. Which makes me think the group will be focusing on a possible hunter when they should be looking for a police officer or an older ex-military person. All of this together seems to be around a conversation about a suspect on the board, a person named Vince Fish, who has some strange proclivities, like eating a plate of peel and eat shrimp and doing a full wipe down, I'm assuming of his hands or his mouth or something like that, between each shrimp. So basically they are saying that he eats one shrimp and then he does a full wipe down whichever whatever way that may be and then he eats another shrimp which is pretty strange i know that's a whole lot but all we have left to go through are some behind the scenes set pictures and my overall thoughts there are a lot of pictures i found at least 40 different ones but we'll only go over a few of them and what they tell us i but i gotta tell you i studied them all some don't reveal much like there are three pictures of the limo that we see in the teaser trailer. I even looked up this company, Sunset Swans on the building perimeter to no avail. There's no real info. I don't think that's a real company. At least I couldn't find anything on them. And these photos don't tell us anything that we have not already seen in the trailer. So the LA set photos, they were a few photos of the crew in LA but not many were notable. There are a few of Mabel and the trio from their outfits they are wearing. I can tell that the limo scene, the boardroom scene with Molly Shannon, and the trio on the movie set all likely take place on the same day as they are wearing the same outfits. New York photos, there were a lot more. So we have a photo of Steve and Martin in mocap suits and Mabel in this snazzy 70s looking outfit. My guess is that this is part of a dreamlike sequence. You know how they do things like that every single season. Mabel's outfit looks like a variation of a 60s or 70s airline stewardess outfit. So maybe when Oliver says they're going to LA, he imagines a sequence with them traveling on a plane or perhaps one of them dreams this while they are on the plane taking a nap or something. Also, there are quite a few photos of the trio in the same outfits they wore in episode one of season one when they first meet. It's clear they are recreating variations of what happened the first day for some reason, but interesting, Howard Morris is with them in some of these scenes, filming the trio as they do things. I have no idea why Howard would be here, but if I had to guess, I would say they are making a documentary about everything that happened, even though I think that's a stretch. I, I can't, I don't know. Maybe they're retracing their steps, looking for clues about someone who may have been following them too closely, but there would be no reason for them put on these outfits if that was the case so i am at a loss either way i enjoyed seeing them in these outfits and it brings back good memories there are several photos of oliver in a retro style outfit looking like he's about to play tennis 
I assume that this is another dream sequence, but it could be a flashback. The fact that there is also a picture of Richard Kind in a similar pastel type outfit without the eye patch makes me think that instead of a version of Teddy Demas, he is a person Oliver met in the past, possibly someone he had an altercation with. Richard could play one of the Arconius residents with a twisted life and Oliver's past may have something to do with why he lost an eye. This could be Oliver retelling a story from his younger years. Richard Kind could be the person that the script on the page was talking about, Vince Fish. He could have some strange proclivities. I don't know, it's just a possibility. Let's just, just throwing it out there, you know? There is a photo of Charles in a white suit with a red carnation, but there is no context for the shot. It may take place as the same scene with Oliver and Richard Kind's character, but I don't think so. And last but not least, one of the biggest spoilers from the season is that Oliver and Loretta will get married. The ceremony will happen in the courtyard of the Arconia, and I assume before we get the next victim, we get a shot of Oliver and Loretta at the gates of the Arconia, possibly after the wedding. It looks like they're parting ways, so maybe Loretta needs to go back to LA. We then see Mabel in a different outfit that she wore at the wedding, smelling a flower. Now, I don't want to assume what she's thinking about, but I thought this was a very pretty shot, and I believe that this will be towards the very end of season four. Oh, and Paul Rudd was on some set. I couldn't figure out what coast this was on or what scene this could possibly be. He's got a giant beard. Um, so I don't know what this is from. It was reported by Deadline that he would be in this season, but maybe he was just visiting the set. Who knows if he is, we'll see in what capacity when the time comes. Overall, I'm excited for the season, even more with all these guest stars. Even though they have more guest stars this season than last, it doesn't feel over the top and it blends well with the show's overall feel with the way that they've taken it. Having a version of their story being told so they could bring in people to play themselves is a very natural way for this to happen. I feel confident that a large part of the show will be the trio investigating people who live in the building as they are suspects. These twisted lives of uh, Arconia residents and the West Tower. Um, if you'd be interested in a video of possibly trying to go over some of the Arconia residents and how they may possibly tie into this or why they might want to kill Saz or Charles, I could try and do that and get that out before the next uh, trailer pops out because then I feel like it's going to be balls to the wall. Only time will tell. Again, most of this is just me making assumptions from photos I found across the internet. So please take everything I've said with a grain of salt. Like I said, if I have time before the next trailer, I will upload another video about my top suspects for the crime after everything I've seen and read about this next season. I've got a Bridgerton trivia event that I'm hosting in just a couple days, so my time has been spent watching that show all of the seasons in Queen Charlotte a couple times. I had to come up with a lot of fun and interesting questions, um, but hopefully I get this out before then. Either way, thank you for watching. As always, please share your thoughts below. My name is Dallas, and I'll catch you on the rooftop.